Welcome to Islamophobia for Dummies. The step-by-step -step guide to seeing how ridiculous Islamophobia really is. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. With the recent death of Osama bin Laden, in this episode we'll be discussing the relationships between Osama bin Laden, the terrorist acts of 9/11, and the religion of Islam. First of all, Islam is fundamentally opposed to harming civilians. The Quran states, Whoever kills a human being for other than manslaughter or corruption in the earth, it shall be as if he had killed all mankind. In addition, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Do not kill an old man, nor a child, nor a youth, nor a woman. This hadith prohibited harming civilians even on the battlefield let alone outside the context of battle. Sheikh Hamza Yusuf Hansen explains this hadith further. At essence, Islam is an irenic religion. It is a peaceful tradition. Our Prophet was not a warmonger. He did not like war. He 